Hey, good afternoon, guys. I'm going to put together a fogger mister today, and I'm going to show you how to do it, how I put mine together in this bucket using a chlorine bucket, a spare bucket, and uh, here's all the parts you need, so we'll go over that real soon. It's going to take about 30 minutes. Let's do it. The tools you'll need are a drill, a 2 and 3 eighths inch hole saw, a jigsaw, and some clear silicone caulk. Now, I use 2 inch PVC piping for the flow directors. So the parts you'll need that will fit right on your bucket lid are six two inch PVC drain 45 degree street elbows and three two inch PVC drain trap adapters which you'll screw into the lid. You need a heavy duty bucket with a top. I used a bucket that 50 pound chlorine comes in. They're really sturdy and nice and clean uh, inside. And finally, an optional section of two inch PVC pipe about three foot long. This is if you want to get the mist up higher. For instance, direct the flow over an obstacle like a countertop or a couch. Now the electrical components are a 120 millimeter fan. Make sure it's rated for wet areas. I use this 12 volt fan by Cooler Guys. I have the same fan on another unit. It's been running for over a year. You'll need a five head ultrasonic mister with a float. A nine head mister would also fit. Measure, measure your bucket to make sure. I bought these from the House of Hydro and paid extra for the sealant coating that, they, that they'll put on. You'll get the mister, float, and a transformer all in one package. Optionally, you can add a humidistat to make the on-off automatic. And you may want to finish it all off with a coat of paint like I did. So let's get started. First thing is you'll want to position everything on the lid to make sure it fits. Uh, when you get it the way you like it, make a dot in the center of where you want each exhaust hole to go. Next, using your hole saw, drill out the three holes that will be used to direct your mist. Insert the three 2-inch trap adapters and screw in the backs to, make, uh, to check the fit. Now each trap adapter comes with a plastic inner washer. Remove these for a tighter fit on your lid. Now position the fan evenly around on the lid and draw the inner circle of the fan blade diameter. Now drill a hole to insert your jigsaw blade and cut out a circle. Now make sure your fan lies flat on the lid. If not, cut out any notches as necessary. If you're going to paint your lid, disassemble the exhaust ports and paint it. After it dries, reassemble the exhaust ports and use silicone to attach your fan to the lid. Test your fan first to make sure that the air blows into the bucket. This will force the air out of the exhaust holes that you drilled once the, fan lit, uh, once the lid is attached to the bucket. Now even though the fan is rated for wet areas, you don't want all that mist being drawn up into the fan. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled up this bucket full of water. You can see it's painted. And I've got the I've got the float transformer plugged in. Just goes in that float and sits in there like that. And we'll just hook this up here. You can see it already fogging up. And now we're ready for our top. Now this wire just slides down in that hole, that slot that we cut. Top. Right. Top just sits right on top here. Like that. Okay. And uh, just plug the fan in. And put something like this up here. I should paint these maybe. I haven't decided yet. But uh, you can have this pull in there. Put this one over in this direction. Shoot this one out there. And then for the second set, you can adjust them even further, right? So if you want to go backwards, maybe you want to go to the right. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I have a list of all the components if you want to build it yourself. 